Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and this is my weekly entertainment wrap-up for July 30th through August 5th. This week I read one book, I watched three shows, and I listened to one book. That feels like a very bare-bones weekly wrap-up, but I've been busy, so that's fine. I was up island last weekend, I started a new work in progress for cross-stitching, I've been hitting it hard going, doing all my workouts for the 75 hard challenge, and I'm currently pet-sitting. So- Hey! Speaking of. So that just means I've been entertaining myself in other ways recently. Hi. Do you wanna? You wanna come see the people? No? Just want to run around? Hi, this is Pancake. She's had the zoomies since last night and woke me up with the zoomies this morning and I feel like was just running around the entire time. So, um, she needs some pets. There's also a lizard in that tank back there, but I don't know if you can see her. The book I read this week is The Natural Mother of the Child. This is a non-binary memoir about this person who is married to a woman and they decide that they both want to carry their children. So their wife actually has their first child and then soon after they get pregnant. But then this is also an exploration of growing up, what it was like for them, what it was like for their wife, what it's like now, what people thought it might be like. Also how some people just don't even understand that they are the person that birthed this specific child. And then also the weird process of how they have to adopt each other's children even though they've been the parents the whole time. I found the organization of it a little bit scattered but I really enjoyed learning about this experience that I will personally never have. Are you ready to go down now? Can I talk to people about TV without you? This week I also watched the second episode in the eighth season of Futurama, and I was going to say that I don't remember what happened, but then it just came to me as I started talking about it. This episode is about something that happened in an episode 20 years ago, where this thing happened where they were like, oh yeah, in 20 years these children will hatch, and uh, you know, that's come back to bite them in the butt, because now that's actually happened. And by bite them in the butt I mean like they're actually pretty happy about it, but it's a thing that they had completely forgotten was going to happen. So I'm glad that the people running the show actually paid attention to that timeline. It's fun and it's kind of a fun roommate thing to watch every episode as it drops on Mondays. This week we also finished the third season of The Boys and just wow. So many things happen. So gory. Their special effects budget is amazing. And uh, yeah, it is definitely not a show to go into if you don't like gore or just like sexual content that could potentially be uh, not everybody's favorite, but it's also so very much like right on the nose of ridiculous things that have happened in our actual culture. For a random example of that, there was one point where they were shooting a commercial for one of the characters has an energy drink, and I was just like, wow, this is just the Pepsi commercial again, isn't it? Holy crap! That's probably the least important of the parallels of things that it parallels in our own existence. But my god, this show has a lot to say about politics and uh, it's just fascinating, honestly. While I was getting some cross-stitching done on one of my projects, just as something to have on in the background that was on YouTube, because I've been watching a lot of YouTube recently, I put on old episodes of Queer Eye. Specifically, I think all of these episodes were from the second season. And it was fun to go back and see how young everybody looked eight seasons ago. There were also things that happened in these episodes that had me tearing up, and also just revisiting the religious trauma that certain cast members have was just a lot. Also, considering I spent way more time watching YouTube this week than I did watching shows, I should probably name drop some channels that I really, really enjoy. And they fall into a few different categories. One is my vegan food content, because I've been making a lot of food recently and I just like having these in the background so I can kind of get some ideas. One of those creators is Simnet Nutrition. I've watched a lot of his videos since I found his stuff when I was in Hungary, so like a few months ago. Speaking of Hungary, somebody else whose channel I've been watching a lot of is Call Me Flora, because she lives outside Budapest, so like that's another thing. I've also been watching random videos from Natasha Ocean, who is somebody I found through Flora's channel. My other big subsection of YouTube that I've been watching from a lot is the true crime subsection, so both Stephanie Harlow, Derek Lavasser's new series, as well as Crime Weekly, which is something that they do together. Brad Erstein is a favorite of mine, as well as Eleanor Neal and Daniel Hallen and Daniel Christie, and I could go on. And then very... The oven is preheated. One moment. 
Sorry about that, I am baking some tofu right now. The one audiobook I finished this week is called Care Work, Dreaming Disability Justice. This one is exactly what it sounds like. It is talking about disability and communities involving disability and people coming together and supporting each other because these systems that are in place just don't do enough. This is one I've been meaning to read for a very long time and I'm glad that I finally got around to realizing that my library has an audiobook copy or they finally got around to getting one because I'm pretty sure I would have checked for it before and either I've been on the waitlist for a very, very, very long time or they just got it pretty recently. I honestly can't remember because my brain is Swiss cheese at this point. This one is full of fantastic essays on several subjects to do with disabilities and I highly, highly recommend it. It does not feel like I've been filming long enough to say this, but that's it for this week. If you've read, watched, or listened to any of these, let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. If you don't feel like leaving a comment, but want to make sure that I know you were here, just leave me an emoji or a smiley face if you happen to be on your keyboard. Some people have asked if there's a way to financially support this channel, so I set up a Ko-fi account, which is a digital tipping service. The link for that, as always, is down below. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye.